Hello everyone and welcome to another video or if you are a new subscriber or viewer then welcome and I hope that you stick around. So for today I am planning on planting this one plant that I have out front. It's just like a, a perennial kind of uh, I don't know, I don't think it's considered a flower, but it's a plant. It's just a, like a regular, you know, like leaf kind of plant. And then in the back, I'm going to be showing what new things that we have on the garden, on the deck garden. I also wanted to show, I got these really cool um, pieces from the antique store. And yeah. It's, it's tied together at the bottom, so I'd have to take it apart to use it. But I already have another shovel upstairs. I think I'm just going to use that um, for the plant out front. inside and now um, the next thing that I wanted to show you was what's out on the deck and it's not anything spectacular in my opinion but it was something that was necessary so that I could grow certain types of plants like for example cabbage um, what else do I have in there I have Swiss chard I'm not really sure about the Swiss chard though because that may or may not need to be uh, netted but I have three Swiss chard plants without the netting that I have right out here that you saw in my other video and then I also have a Swiss chard plant inside what I'm about to show you and um, yeah it's broccoli I have broccoli and Man, I can't even remember. <laughs> but the other stuff is out there. I'll show it to you. And so, yeah. So, we can go out there and go see what's going on. call it like a netted box <laughs> for our plants a netted raised bed and yeah so really quick I can show you there's cabbage 
broccoli, a leek, spinach, Swiss chard, and over there is romaine lettuce. So yeah, the, one of the main reasons that I did not show this off sooner is because, as you can see, this was going to be covered with another strip of wood and we just never got around to it so yeah maybe you're wondering like oh how do you get in it <laughs> so i will show that to you So we have it velcroed, and then we also had nailed it as well. And yeah, it's all on that end, and then all around here. And yeah, so here are the plants up close. Everything is just growing so well in here. This is my first time growing spinach. It's a little small, so. We'll see how that is. The leek started growing like crazy. I have grown a leek before. This is my first time growing broccoli. They might be too close to each other. I'm not really sure. Now those two really might be too close to each other, the cabbages, but um, eventually I can separate them a little more. But yeah, that is the setup and it's really nice and I like it a lot. So I am going to put this back together Now, while I'm out here, I'll talk about how are the other plants doing that I had suspicion, um, they were shocked. And the leaves that were shocked didn't really recover. Like you can see some of them just crinkled away but there is new growth that's coming in the middle especially with this one the leaves all on the outer edge just did not make it but it's coming back and these are the beets over here so it's swish char swish char swish chard and then the beets i think they're okay i see the leaves trying to come back <laughs> and that's swish chard i had inside of that um bin already and i just had put more soil in it so it's actually growing really well i didn't have to transplant it so that's probably why it's also happy <laughs> and growing nice another really cool thing that i wanted to show that i didn't even really think it would work but when i had heard that uh mint was a perennial i thought Oh, okay, I have an idea. So basically, this was my mint. If you remember some videos ago, I did show like all of this was covered with mint leaves. And I basically let it die. I wasn't taking care of it. And then now, all of a sudden, uh, it's starting to grow back which is truly crazy to me. Also, something else that I wanted to show was this really pretty plant right here. I can't remember what they were. I think they're lilies. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. But we got this from Home Depot when we got more soil. And yeah, I thought they were really pretty. And I thought it was cool that they haven't bloomed yet, so once they do, I'll be able to see it. The color is really pretty too. I like that red, deep red color. 
Something else that I can show are my peas. They are growing really well and I'm just so happy. I love growing peas. This is actually probably my, my new favorite thing to grow. Um, not only did they come up so fast, like the, the peas themselves, they grow really quickly, but they're just so neat. I love uh, vine plants. They are just so interesting to me. All right, I came back inside. It was too hot. So I'm thinking that this is gonna be the end of this video because I wanted to mainly show off the raised bed netting that we have. I don't even know what to call it. It's our, it's our raised bed, it's our netted raised bed. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> I don't know why that's so complicated. Something else that I thought I'd share, my sweet basil, I had cut them and they are hang drying and then the rest I just let it grow. I'm not sure if it's actually going to do anything or not, but we will see. Here they are, hang drying. I didn't get too, too much because if you can see, they started to seed flower kind of early but I did get a good amount and some of the leaves started turning brown which I'm not sure why that happened but there's got to be a reason okay so that is gonna be all for this video I want to make it simple short little plant update garden update you know I love it and I will see you in the next video. I hope you guys have a great week. Bye-bye.